Now that you just ordered your photo booth, what's next? Well, you also need to invest in some tools and resources to scale up your business. If you are a new photo booth owner or just starting out, then you came into the right place. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you my photo booth resources and tools in details. And of course, some of my best practices, tips and tricks. Now, please keep in mind that these resources and tips are just based on my personal experience as a photo booth owner uh, using the traditional photo booth and also a self-serve social media booth. Now, what the heck is that self-serve social media booth? Now watch this link from my previous video about this highly rated, awesome looking photo booth that you can find in the market today. Hey guys, my name is Zyron. If you're new to this channel, I'm a wedding and event photographer based in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And I'm also a photo booth owner since 2016. And since then, I added the photo booth to expand my business as part of my photography package. You can check the link below for what I recommend as one of the best photo booth out there. All right, so let's start with the obvious and that's the camera. All right, so I'll take you upstairs to have a walkthrough on my photo booth accessories. So if you guys own a traditional photo booth like this, the one that does print, based on my experience together with other uh, photo booth owners here as well, they use Canon camera. They're compatible with most photo booth software that I know. They're easy to set up and I never had any syncing issue. I currently use a Rebel. This is the T2i or 550D. And that's because I can easily find a lot of spare accessories. So for example, this one, I'm using a power adapter instead of running off of the batteries. And then I have this sync cable that connects to my Microsoft Surface and then the hot shoe that connects to my flash. And make sure to set your lens to manual so that way it doesn't hunt focus when taking a photo and also set your settings to f11 so everything on the frame is in focus. For flash, I use the Impact Monolight, but you can find something comparable online. It's very straightforward to use and reasonably priced. So here you can find the modeling light switch, the on and off button, okay, the sync that goes into your camera, okay, and the test button. That's pretty much it. Now I did put a tape on the optical slave so that way it doesn't uh, trigger when you have a photographer or another photographer on the event. Right now I do have the modeling light turned on so I use this to help out with the ambient light which also helps your camera focus on your clients. There's only two settings for power so half and full power and since 2017 I've never replaced the bulb but I do bring a speed light just in case. Now this flash uses a rechargeable battery and also, if you wanted to find out the details, the brand of the equipment I use, I'll be posting links below the description. For software, I use DSLR booth, and this is also where I make my templates. Now in here, you can actually have your own description. I currently have four poses, one print, and by default, I believe it says tap to start. The main reason is some people or some guests are expecting four prints when they make four poses. That's why I have this. All right, so here's their template, Gary. I can customize it on the fly, like even on the event, just in case the client needs some last minute editing. But of course, before I transfer it here, I edit first in Photoshop. Now, if you're running out of templates or ideas, I'll be posting some resources below, including the links where you can actually get some templates. Again, it's called DSLR Booth. They are reasonably priced. It has a great user interface and also great for beginners. Other features includes green screen, GIF, video, boomerang, and you can also share by email. Other options include darkroom, photo booth solutions, and breeze systems. And as a backup, I always carry a Canon printer, a Selfie CP1300. So now this is my main printer. It's the DNP DSRXHS. One roll of paper is about 700 photos, so that's quite a lot. I never have to use that or replace it during an event and always make sure you put this in when transporting your printer. And this goes inside this printer bag that's actually meant for it. I do have a spare cable right there. And then I have a small album just to show some other templates for photos. To add, I also carry a remote control so I can trigger the photo booth by just pressing the space bar. Say cheese. There we go, and if you wanna go back or cancel, hit the back button. And this is also helpful for those clients that doesn't want to use the on-screen keyboard and use this instead. Now, aside from cable, I also have a backup hot shoe converter. So this connects your camera to your flash and a four port uh, travel hub for my surface. Now here I've got a display stand, so it is adjustable. You can either have the horizontal or vertical. This is where I put my ads or promo. 
And you'll notice I have a QR code in there, so people can just scan that. And here's my light stand. As I mentioned in the previous video, this is where I mount the uh, Yongnuo uh, light stick. Now, they don't come with this thread, like a tripod mount, so you have to get this separately. And I'll post a link as well, so that way you know which size to get. And so here's the Yongnuo light stick on a fully extended mic stand. Yongnuo light stick comes with this detachable uh, remote control that allows you to turn on and change the color using this wheel, so it's a touch sensitive. Currently don't have a battery on it. It uses a watch battery, but what I do is I just stick it in here. It has a magnet in it. And then from here, you can actually change the color using this wheel. And right on the settings, you can set it on different modes. For example, if you want to have this light blinking, but for me, I just leave it to constant light the whole time. On a side note, when you buy one of these Yongnuo LED sticks, they don't come with these batteries, neither the power adapter, but you can get them separately. Now, I also got this from Amazon, so links below, and it does last me a couple and a half hours for the whole event. Backdrops, you can go to photobootsupplyco.com. Now, these are tension fabric backdrops. So, these are fabric that are wrinkle free. So, if you hate ironing those uh, backdrops, then this will be your best choice. So, these are uh, more stable and also higher quality than a traditional fabric backdrop. Alternatively, you can go to pbbackdrops.com and you'll find some other options for backdrops and stands, including packages and some different options. Now, if you're worried about your budget, you can go to Amazon. However, most of the ones that I found here were too small and not meant for large groups. They're also made of uh, different materials, so you might have to iron them. Now, pay attention to the size. For example, this one's uh, six and a half by feet. And yeah, it's not as big as you think. Now, keep in mind that since they're not fabric and it's made of different material, if you put a light on it or uh, use flash, you might see some sort of reflection. So that's why I do recommend using a, uh, a fabric or those tension uh, fabric backdrops. Alternatively, you can also Google your local area to find a fabric store so you can have the measure that you like and be more creative. All right, guys, so for props, check this out from PBI Shop. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here, ranging from the printers, from miscellaneous, from add-ons. They even have these uh, um, red carpets. Um, plus, they've got the extra stuff too, like for uh, the, the backdrops, you see that the props. So pretty much everything is uh, in here, so go check this out. So they've got a couple of page. All right, second is hashtag.com. They create a custom handheld props, as you can see on the photo. And so basically, these will be personalized to your style, type of event, or to your business. And it's also an effective marketing tool for uh, your business. So you provide the phrase or the logo, and they'll provide these uh, water-resistant, uh, durable handheld props. And then again, it can be used to promote your business or support a local charity, for, for example. Alright guys, so third is from your props. So they do make a lot of these uh, personalized props as well. And yeah, like they have these made-to-order stuff. Now, Party City is mostly for party decorations. Um, but you can, all use, you can also use this to ramp up your photo booth with uh, you know, their prop offerings. Now, now, the thing here is you got to think outside the box. And you can make combinations of different props depending on the theme uh, that your client wants. So, for example, they have these kids stuff or Halloween stuff. So, pretty much everything. Now, the props here might not be as good as the other dedicated photo booth props. Since these are just for party, sometimes you're only going to be using it for that for that night and uh, you know it's going to be broken so keep that in mind all right guys so similar to partycd.com uh, you'll find a lot of toys crafts party supplies here at oriental trading so this is good if you're making a uh, large purchase or bulk purchases especially for kids events uh, that you do you know require some or 
photo booth props. Now again, keep in mind that since these are just uh, kids props, it's either they're gonna take it home with them or they're not gonna last an event or two. I'll provide all the links below the description so you can just click on it and it'll bring you directly to their page. Now, if you guys got one of those props from uh, your props or hashtag, uh, be sure to check this out. I found this in IKEA so you can actually stack all your props together. Basically, it's a props holder or organizer uh, just to keep them uh, nice and presentable during the uh, photo booth session. All right, and then what good is a prop if you don't have a table? A lot of uh, vendors supply these tables anyways, but just in case, um, like me, myself, I do have a foldable one as you saw in the, on, the, uh, on the video earlier, but uh, it's nice to have a backup just in case, you know, you, you have a lot of props and you need a place where you uh, put it into and your venue does not provide a table. And if you're getting a table, you might as well get a cover. Okay, so there's one here from Amazon. You can you can check all different types of colors and they're pretty cheap. All right, guys, so let's talk about templates. Uh, there are four sites that I usually go to uh, to get or make a photo booth template. Uh, if you don't have time and you want to just pay someone, go to fiber.com, okay? And in here, you'll just type photo booth templates. All right, and you'll see a lot of people are offering services, okay? So these are real human where you can uh, basically um, exchange or communicate uh, or with a the seller, they, they call these as gigs, okay? And then if you're not satisfied, you can always come back to that seller and uh, make, you know, make, uh, make changes or modifications. Uh, Fiverr. Oh, well, that's why it's called Fiverr because they do start at five dollars US. I mean, Canada. That's why they're about like six dollars and uh, fifty-five cents. But uh, again, this is one of the uh, one of the good site or website to to have someone like freelancers to make those photo booth designs for you, especially if you're running out of ideas. So go check it out. Okay, so another one is Canva. Now I am a pro user, but you can get uh, you can start using it for free. So you basically make up your own. So it's a do-it-yourself uh, type of thing. So they do have a lot of templates. It's a design, um, online graphic design website or tool where you can make other stuff too, like your your logo, your uh, maybe albums or, or any type of designs, okay? So again, you can use the free version. You don't have to go to the pro, but there's a lot of benefits if you go pro, especially have access to a lot of premium uh, premium materials so if you're a DIY kind of a person you can even uh, get the pro version okay because that gives you access to a lot of stuff and you can be crazy creative and then you can go back to Fiverr and sell your photo booth design uh, so that's an extra uh, gig for you right so another option that you can um, use is Etsy.com however they're not like an actual gig uh, whereas in Fiverr, you provide them like a theme or you can communicate with someone and you want, let's just say, a, uh, uh, a Disney uh, team, right? So here you basically pick one of these and then you buy it, okay, online and then download. So it's literally just a template, okay? You change the name, the, uh, the other details, but the design, what you see here is pretty much what you get. I mean, technically you can still make some modifications yourself um, and I guess depending on the seller they might give you some other options but again you know it's something you wanna, might want to check out if you don't find anything that uh, suits your need and similar to Etsy you can go to DSLR booth if you're using one of these uh, I believe these are also compatible with the other uh, with other uh, programs since they only use uh, PNG or PSD file anyways uh, th these are similar to Etsy where you what you see here is what you get just to kind of give you an idea but not a lot of uh, not a lot of uh, templates in here as you can see we only have one page but the for the most part if you're starting out in photo booth uh, these are good enough uh, so yeah for starters and they're reasonably priced so $15 now guys if you need some branding you can go to banner buzz uh, so they make a lot of uh, like banners, of course, uh, sign holders. Uh, what I personally use is this sign holder here. It's from Amazon. Um, you can actually 
I change it from portrait to landscape. So it's it's fairly easy and it's fairly cheap. Um, but again, this site here gives you more options. If you you know you can even get a tent or even there, uh, I believe they have some backdrops as well. Uh, and you can go back to that page earlier that I mentioned from uh, PBI. Uh, they do have some miscellaneous stuff too that you want to check. You know, even like an iPad stand, and uh, I believe they have uh, like a, a sanitizer as well. Plus, guys, don't forget the small stuff. You know, like gaffer tapes, um, even wipes or sanitizer. You know, to clean up your props, and also like surge protectors. But you can make your own checklist. Okay, if you if you want to see like all the stuff that I've been using, I do have a checklist. And I use myself I'll be providing a link in the description below so make sure to check that out now, if you guys are also a photographer just like me I do have a website where I keep all my photos my portfolio and also back up um, all my photos both personal and business you know aside from backing them up online and I use this platform so it's called smug mug now you can check the link here uh, where I did a detailed review and comparison with the competitor. You can start your free day, a 14 day free trial. I do have a 20% discount code uh, if you want to use the uh, service uh, or try it out, uh, but you have to click the link below. So, this basically gives you uh, again unlimited full resolution photos. You can set your galleries to private or uh, public, plus, you can build your website the, like the gallery to showcase or show off your photo booth uh, photos so again give that a try if you haven't uh, have a website established it's worth checking this out check cherry last but not least okay so especially if you started to get a lot of bookings you probably want to organize them in your calendar okay not only that it helps you basically manage like automate pretty much everything you know like even contracts you see here client portal you set your availability so so clients can uh, check your available schedule you can even go here and you know make a trial let's let's just click on it uh, and that's gonna walk them through you know the, your different packages so let's just say self-service and then they get to pick here they, they they put in their information and then they go into your list they make their own portal and it goes through the automation so which is pretty neat okay um, so it is a booking software okay and it's partly CRM and you can you can use this also if you are a, a DJ so they have a DJ booking software um, what I like about this is since I'm a photographer if you scroll all the way down so they've got different industries here so you know when I go me want to do mini sessions photographer or photo booth um, they even have some free photo booth templates in here and in and also a checklist so this is more of a business checklist uh, like a, a general uh, checklist for running your photo booth business now I like the idea of automation because I have a busy life. I have a family, I have a photography business, uh, plus the photo booth, and also I'm working nine to five. So this basically automates everything, starting from the leads up to, you know, like the signing of the contract and uh, payment. So go through their website, do a test booking. Uh, let's just scroll some other features in here. So your schedule, your availability, you can even have them select a backdrop, uh, select templates using this software, which is pretty cool. Uh, make the payments, again, the packages, deposits, signatures, invoices, calendar. It integrates to your Google Calendar. So if you have a family uh, booking on, let's just say, Friday and you don't want, you know, you, you don't want that booking to be available for your photo booth. so it's it's not it's gonna block off that date you can exchange communication via their messages again tax calculation travel fees I like this feature especially I have a lot of uh, out-of-town clients so the system automatically calculates the, the distance you just put in the amount how much you want to charge per you know a kilometer or 
uh, 10 kilometers, for example. All right, guys, so as a bonus, you can actually get $60 off using my unique link. That's right, $60 credit, and that's only through this channel, Zyberflex. Okay, you can't find this anywhere else. Now, check out their pricing online, okay, on their website. See what's best for you, okay? Um, comment below if you have any questions. You know, I, I won't be able to explain everything in details. And I probably would need to make another video or another playlist in my next video review uh, for other, um, you know, other photo booth tools or software. Now, I'm not sponsored by any of these vendors or products, you know, that I review or recommend. However, these tools are working for me and I'm basically sharing it with you as being part of this uh, channel. Okay, if you made it until the end and, uh, you know, uh, you did enjoy this video, uh, comment check, C-H-E-C-K, and I will reply to any questions. Okay, seriously, I check them uh, every time, okay? And that's it, all right. So don't forget to hit like, comment, or share up this video to your fellow boothers, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.